Welcome back to another Sudoku Primer video. I have to apologize. I didn't publish a video for the last two Fridays because I was busy finishing up some software work that I needed to do and I, did, I just didn't have time. Here is this Friday's video. This channel shows you how to solve Sudoku puzzles without pencil marks. Learn more about these techniques and patterns on sudokuprimer.com and find lots of other Sudoku information out there too. If you have any questions as we solve this puzzle, please leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. This is puzzle number 89 from Sudoku to Go, volume 149. We hit a hard spot and then we get through it using twins and triplets together. The twins are pretty easy to see, but the triplets are a little harder to see. And as we, uh, once we find them, we're, we're able to um, get past that rough spot. It's, a, it's still a little bit tricky as we go along after that, but, uh, but that's the roughest spot. Well, let's get started. First of all, we've got two, two, two. These first few, like usual, are um, quite easy to find. Two, two, there's a two there. All right, and then we've got an eight here. We've got a goat, uh, gate pattern right there with an eight going through it and an eight here. So we have ghost eights, eight, that's an eight right there. Another thing we I noticed is this is this was a T pattern right here in this box with an eight going through it. So the eight was constrained to this this column right here. But now we have a two and an eight and a two and an eight. So these are two eight twins right here. And we'll use use those in a little bit. All right, here we're missing two, six, and nine. There's a two and a nine there, so that's a six. That's that leaves two and nine there. We can't solve those yet. All right, we have a three here, three here, so that's a three. And three there, so that's a three. Now we've got a Eight here, eight here, eight here. Makes that an eight. Now with that eight, we can see that we've got a uh, three here, three here, three there. So that makes that a three. And with this eight and three, we have a corner pattern here now. All right, and uh, we've got a nine going through box two so that constrains the nine to this column, column four. And with these two nine twins we have there, and ghost nines right there with that corner pattern, we can see that's a two, and that's a nine. All right, now we can put a, uh, now we've got a two here, two here. One of these is a two. We know these are two eight twins. So with a two here and a two here, uh, using double row elimination, we know the two in box five has to go here, here, or here. We've got twos already in the uh, row, th I mean column four and column six, so the two has to go right there in box five. All right, now at this point, um, this is a point where this puzzle gets pretty tricky. Um, if you want to pause the video and take a look at it, see if you can figure out the next number, um, go ahead. Um, but I'll just continue on. I'll show you where I found a set of twins, and then later I found a set of triplets. And together, using the twins and the triplets, I found another number. Um, so I'll continue on now. We've got an 8 here, 8 here. So one of these is an 8. We've got a nine here, and these ghost nines we looked at just a minute ago. Nine, nine. One of these is a nine. So we have 
um, eight nine twins right there. Okay, now though that doesn't just that alone doesn't help us a lot. Um, but now I'm going to show you a set of triplets that I found that help us find the next number. First of all, we've got a 5 and a 7 here, so we have 5, 7. Uh, but the third number for the triplets isn't as obvious. It's this 4 right here. Because these eight, there's 8, 9 twins here, we know the 4 has to be one of these two cells. So we got 4, 5, 7. So the only number we're missing that we don't know yet is this one right here. Or I'm sorry, um, I should say the only number that aren't in a set of twins or triplets is this number right here. And that's a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is a 6. And now um, with that 6 there, we've got a 6 here, so we can put a 6 in there and there. And we've got sixes there, and a uh, we have ghost sixes here with this again with this corner pattern. We can see that that six can't go here or here, so six has to go there. Ghost six is there, six there, six is here, so that is a six right there. All right, now the next number is a little bit tricky too. But now we're going to use our two 8 twins here that we know about with this 7. And the two 8 twins, we know that can't be a 7, so the 7 has to be one of these two cells in box 6. That makes that a 7 because these are 8, 9 twins right there. So we have 7, go 7s. And 7 goes right there. All right, and now we can put in the 4 and the 5 right here to complete that um, set of triplets that we found right there. And with that, we can put a 5 right there. And let's see, now we've got, uh, what are we missing in row three here? One, six, seven. One, six, and seven. Six, six, so that's a six right there. And remember our six is there. So now we we'll put a one in there and a seven there. And now, um, with this one right here, we put a 1 in box 4. And what are we missing in box 3 here? 1, 3, and 9. There's 1 and 3 there, so that's a 9. And a 1 and a 3 there. All right, and we have 7 and 9 missing in box 2. With that 9, we can solve those. That leaves a 5 right there. And 4 and 7 left in this, in box 1 here. So we can finish those, complete that box. All right, and now we've got a 2, 2, two right there. And a two there. Remember our two eight twins. Put in the eight there. And we're only missing a nine in that column. So I can put that in. Box five, remember our eight nine twins there. All right, now, now row four is missing 
seven, eight, and nine. So that's seven and nine because there's an eight in here. So that makes that an eight. And seven and nine. With that nine, we can finish that. And now we're missing one and four here, which we can fill in. Column nine is only missing one number, and that is a seven. And now we got four and seven in this column right here. With that seven, we can solve those. And that leaves one and six here. So with that six, we can solve those. All right, now we have four, five, and eight missing in this box. There's an eight there. Four and eight there, so that's a five. That makes these four and eight here, which we can solve. One and five are left here, which we can put in. And now we're having four, five, nine here. Four and five there, so that's a nine. Four and a five. All right. Not too bad. Um, wasn't too rough of a puzzle, but at the very um, point where we found the twins and triplets, there it was pretty tough. It was kind of tricky until we found the set of twins and triplets together, which we could um, which we could solve once we found the twins and triplets together. We found that six, and that helped us get by there. So when you get to a hard spot and you can't find your way, you need to really study the grid to find a way to get going again. And look for all kinds of, you know, try and look for techniques, for patterns, um, combinations of techniques and combinations of patterns and techniques together. And, uh, and that's how we found those twin, twins and triplets in this puzzle so that we could uh, move past after we found that six. And that six pretty much broke the puzzle open. It was a little tricky, but not too bad after that. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope to be able to post a video every Friday from now on.